the press conference right now in Lindenhurst. Let's listen in. They're about to begin. I'm here with a great team, our Department of Public Works, Tom Say, the commissioner, and the entire These are the operators out here. They've been doing a tremendous job. Thank you guys for your great work. Our Deputy Supervisor, Tony Martinez, Councilman Jackie Gordon, Councilman Lindsey Henry, Councilman Tom Donnelly, the entire team here. Thank you very much, guys. I want to thank uh, the Commissioner of Fire and Rescue Emergency Services, Joe Williams, who's here, and our Assistant Deputy County Executive for Public Safety, Tim Seney, as well as uh, all of our uh, Department of Public Works uh, officials here in Suffolk County. Uh, most importantly, I want to say a big thank you to Governor Cuomo for being here once again in Suffolk County and for his leadership again in another extreme weather event here in Suffolk County and, and here in our region. And I can say quite simply, the cavalry is on its way. Uh, thanks to the governor and thanks to his leadership. Uh, we are still dealing with a real storm here in Suffolk County. There are parts of the county where snow is still falling uh, right now. And while many parts of the region may feel like they've dodged a bullet, that was not the case here in Suffolk County. We were hit by it and we were hit hard. Uh, more than a foot and a half to more than two feet of snow in significant parts of our uh, county. Uh, and what we saw last night, uh, we saw a drop in 911 calls. We saw fewer accidents, less than a handful of accidents uh, here in Suffolk County. And in my mind, there is no doubt that that is directly attributable to the governor's decisive action in implementing a travel ban which allowed all of our operators, our DPW employees out there who face very treacherous conditions to be out there operating those plows, clearing the roads uh, without having to deal with car accidents and cars on the roadways. And, you know, we were just traveling uh, on the LIE and stopping to help uh, three different motorists. One was a New York City police officer coming home from a late ship, a nurse coming home from Huntington Hospital, stuck on the roadways. Uh, why, which is why we're continuing to tell people to stay off those roads. But we haven't had to deal with that. Uh, and we've been able to make such progress because of that travel ban. And if you look at where we were, where we are today from where we were two years ago, uh, when we had hundreds of motorists stranded here in Suffolk County, it is night and day. And again, that is directly attributable uh, to the leadership and the decisiveness we saw from the governor. You know, we've talked about historic storms here in Suffolk County the last few years. I think last night what we saw in today was an historic response from the governor, from our first responders, our DPW crews, and the public. And I want to say a thank you to the public for heeding the call of the governor and all of us as local officials out here to stay off the roads uh, and allow us to do our work. Uh, this is still a tremendous storm. A huge amount of snow still has to be removed from our roadways. When you're talking about more than two feet of snow, that's one of the largest storms that we've ever seen in this region. So there's a lot more work to be done. But I am grateful that the governor is here, uh, as he has uh, been time and time again. He called me earlier this morning. As it became clear, other parts of the region were uh, hit uh, less than predicted uh, and said, whatever you need, we're prepared uh, to assist the county and, and to bring whatever resources we need. And once again, uh, the governor uh, has delivered and I want to bring him and, and thank him on behalf of all the residents of Suffolk County uh, for his leadership, for his support, uh, and for his uh, efforts in, in bringing the cavalry. Governor, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first, to uh, Steve Bologna, county executive, who's been extraordinary, really extraordinary, uh, not only through this, but it's the extraordinary leadership that we've come to expect from him. Let's give him a big round of applause. And same thing with Rich Schaefer. You know, we have a, a great great team between Steve Bologna and Rich Schaefer, and uh, he, he's a professional. Uh, he's in public service for all the right reasons, and he's done a great job. Pleasure to be with you. The, uh, this is one of those bad news, uh, good news situations. The good news is uh, the entire region was not hit as hard as we were expecting. Uh, this was a big region that we were looking to be impacted, 13 counties. So it goes from Albany South to New York City and then all of Long Island. 
And as a region, it wasn't as bad as had been predicted or had been projected. Um, that's the good news. The bad news is uh, Suffolk took it right on the chin. Uh, and there's still an imprecision to these forecasts. Um, but it was right on when it came to uh, Suffolk County. Unfortunately, Suffolk in these storms, it seems more and more, is uh, getting hit the hardest as the storm literally turns the corner to go north. Uh, it hits the tip of Long Island very, very hard. So there is a significant challenge in Suffolk County. Uh, there is two feet of snow, is a lot of snow, any way you slice it. Uh, and the team has been doing a great job, but it is still a massive undertaking. And as the county executive said, uh, we want you to know that uh, the cavalry is on its way. What we are doing is redeploying all the assets that we had in the Mid-Hudson and New York City, and we're moving them all to Suffolk County. So, <clears throat> there will literally be uh, about 500 pieces of equipment that are coming, snow plows, dump trucks, front end loaders. There are 100 National Guard who are on their way here. And the National Guard, I can't uh, begin to tell you how extraordinary they are. Uh, they're really... Uh, they have been great time and time again. So the National Guard are on their way, and they're bringing uh, special equipment that will help with the snow removal. So we'll have the resources here. We'll have them uh, fairly shortly. That doesn't mean the snow is all going to disappear in a matter of minutes. There's a lot of work to do, and there's days of work to do before things return to normal. Um, we've lifted the travel ban. That doesn't mean people should rush outside. The roads are still difficult, especially a lot of the side roads. If you don't have to be driving around, you shouldn't be driving around. Uh, one of the reasons why we try to keep people off the roads is their own safety and also so the people who are with me here today can do their job. Uh, you can't plow the roads if there's one car that gets stuck on a road, that entire road gets shut down <clears throat> because you can't plow it because of the stuck car. So uh, keeping people in their homes keeps them safe and allows the emergency responders to do what they have to do. Uh, last point is I want to applaud the first responders who literally these people worked all night long under very difficult circumstances to do a fantastic job in removing a lot of snow. I want to thank the residents of Suffolk County who were smart and who were considerate. Uh, and who were community-oriented and stayed off the roads, which made a tremendous difference. The reason why the main roads are clear this morning is because the plows could actually do their work. There is, uh, there is no doubt in my mind. As the county executive mentioned, we've seen it both ways. We've seen snowstorms where the roads were left open and people continue to come out. We were warning them all day long about the snow. They got in their cars, they came out, they got on the LIE, and they were stranded on the LIE, and we had a really dangerous situation. Uh, so we've seen it done uh, that way, and we've seen it done this way, which had a traffic ban at 11 o'clock. By the way, 11 o'clock, I don't know how many people are driving around in a blizzard after 11 o'clock anyway. but. Uh, we had the traffic ban. People stayed in their homes. Uh, they listened, and uh, we've only had literally a small handful of minor accidents in, th in the entire region uh, last night. And uh, uh, Knoxville... We've been listening to Governor, Cuomo, Governor Cuomo's press conference from Lindenhurst just talking about the situation in Suffolk County. They were the hardest hit, basically giving an endorsement to Steve Ballone and the other uh, the county executive there and some of the other executives and first responders in the area who have done uh, all they can over the last couple hours. One quick footnote before we do move on here. New Jersey Transit back to normal by tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. So 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, New Jersey Transit will be back up and running as well. Now back to normal.